Every time I experienced my greatest pain, also came my greatest gain. Every time I had a breakdown, a breakthrough came on a whole new level. I've observed that when a bird is sitting in a tree, she's not afraid of the branch breaking because her trust is not in the branch or the tree. Her trust is in her wings. I believe that I am sent here as a reminder for us to believe in our own wings, for us to believe in our own magic, for us to believe in our own stories, for us to believe in our own triumph and our power and to step into our kingdom and queendom and move from that space. How we do that is we have an understanding that the lesson repeats itself until we're willing to face off with it. You see, I've found that so many people want to distract themselves from what's here. They get high on drugs, they get high on women, they get high on swiping through dating apps. They distract themselves by overeating and watching porn and doing anything and everything to keep themselves from seeing what's here. The only way out is through, is in. That inward journey can feel like a struggle sometimes, but just like those people who are into weightlifting, you know, when you first go to the gym and you lift a weight, you know, and the weight's really heavy, but three months in, that same weight, that same 25 pound curl, it feels like nothing, it feels like a feather. And we just keep moving up. And that's our job, to go into our inner gym and to keep digging out and finding the little places and finding those little places that we're still hiding out or we're still believing that we're not good enough. Remember, it is not the mountain that we conquer. It is ourselves. And the moment that we can get that it's not out there, that there is no out there out there, that it's all happening here, that it's not out there, that the outer world is a reflection of the inner world. As above, so below. As within, so without. There is no out there. The moment we can move from that to me conversation, that victim consciousness into an understanding that it's us, that we are the creators, we are the Michelangelos, we are the sculptors of our life. We write the script to this thing and we cast the actors and the directors and the locations and all of that stuff with our vibration, with what we pay attention to. Because energy flows where attention goes. So if we can begin to tap into and understand our intention and our attention or what's creating in our lives, then we'll start to focus somewhere else. We'll put that focus on love. We'll put that focus on beauty. We'll put that focus on harmony. We'll put that focus on abundance. We'll start to see abundance everywhere. And in that, we raise our vibration. And in that vibration, when you raise your vibration, people can't help but be attracted to you. It's how it works. Yes, there must be action. But this whole hustle hard mentality that is being sold to us through Instagram and through all these memes, I don't buy that. I don't buy that. Because the universe operates with the least amount of effort. And I'm not saying you don't have to work hard. I'm not saying not to work hard. But what I am saying is, is that you don't need to spend 80 hours in a week running around with your head chopped off or something trying to prove that you're good enough. Because the grass doesn't try to grow. The waves don't try to flow. They just do. And we are no separate from nature. Stillness, peace, breath, love, light, here, now. Ooh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's here now. Yeah, yeah, you, you tap into that thing. If you get and tap into that thing, it's here now. It always has been. Hmm. And then ask yourself a powerful question. What good is here that I presently cannot see? What good is here that I presently cannot see? Ah, and then you wait. Ah, I have breath. I have eyes to see. Ah, my heart is still beating. After all these years, after all of this abuse, my heart, my body still beating, still moving. When I say move my right hand, it moves. Whoa, abundance is here now. But I couldn't see it because I was too focused on what I didn't have. I was too focused on what I was missing instead of focusing on what was already here. You see, in our society, we get so caught up in the glass being half full or half empty. But my challenge to you is to be grateful that you have a glass because you are in the dance. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent, profane, profound, the whole thing. You're in the dance. And you can turn that dance and that stumble into a no dance move. Every time you hit rock bottom, every time I experienced my greatest pain, also came my greatest gain. 
Every time I had a breakdown, a breakthrough came on a whole new level. And I learned who and what I am again and again and again. Guys, there's nowhere to go. There's nothing to get because it's all here now.